www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. Uh, I'm back for an additional video tutorial for the video series that we're creating uh, regarding Adobe Audition CS6 tools and functions that might help you in creating quality audio recordings and audio edits. Uh, and this time, we're still on the hardware or the interface setup. What I'd like to share to you right now is uh, one utility that might help you in somehow measuring intervals and breaks and rests on your audio edit. The use of a metronome. So what you do is uh, run your Adobe Audition CS6 first and let me just show that to you real quick. Go to something that says, uh, where's that? Here, sorry. Go to something that says multi track, go to metronome. Yep, if you're using Adobe Audition 3.0 or 2.0, probably you can't find that in there. You, you just have to look up maybe Cool Edit Pro. Just go, go look up for metronome. You can find that in there. Alright, so what we're going to be doing right now is let's just create a. Oh, sorry. If you don't know how to do basic recording yet, just Maybe you could pause this video and then you could go back down to the list of the videos that we have. Uh, we have a video tutorial in there on how you can create basic recording. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do quick uh, record. Let's just try this. Uh, let's say sample metro no, test. Alright, so 44, that's going to be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, la, 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 la. Alright, then press spacebar, then you have to save that. Remember your own waveform. If you don't know again how to record, go back and look up a tutorial on our YouTube channel so you would know prior to learning this. You're going to right click over that and save selection as. You might want to save that as an MP3 file. Let's just use desktop for the path then click on OK then it's gonna be saved already what you wanna do with this control A delete alright so you don't have any elements now let's think so that we're gonna use that bring this down and you have this sample metronome let me play that or that's gonna be OK one two three four five six seven la 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 Alright, if you might have noticed, uh, let me just close that. If you might have noticed, the reason why I, I didn't count on the correct interval, like what I say, I mean, when I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and waited a little, uh, a little bit, because we're going to trim that down. We're going to use the metronome as a counter, right? Like like how musicians use that. It's, it's basically a counter. It's going to count for you, so you would know where to to input your voice or when when to utter a voice or when to take a musical instrument all right so what you do is go to multi track right here then name that you say metronome uh test edit all right and go to your file you could also if if you're on a multi track view what you do is right click there you go so something that says insert and you go files but basically it would know that you just did created something like here this was your uh, multi-track session alright so what you do insert go to files or else you can just drag that go to your desktop right here you got sample metronome test right here just drag it in there and you have that All right what you do is bring that to the side and go back to multi-track again right on top and you say metronome you can say enable if you play that let me mute this first all right let me mute the metronome and play this. that's gonna be okay one two remember that's this recording that we created all right but if you'd want to add in the metronome in there three four five six seven la see that think so that this is a song or think so that you're trying to Add in a guitar part or a guitar backing, a drum backing, a voice for the front audio. You're trying to mix up, so you might want to use uh, 
how do I say that? You might want to use a precise and exact counter. All right, not a count that your drummer did. Probably he missed out one interval. So what you do, you might want to use a metronome right here, so you could measure everything and have completely outputted exactly and as precise as it can be. All right. Uh, let me mute this back again and play just the metronome right on top. If you might have noticed, the, the metronome right there actually is just uh, sort of like just just drum ticks. Let's go back right here. You say multi-track, go to metronome, and you have something that says change sound type. Sticks right here. Those are just drum sticks that, that, that we're hearing earlier. So you might want to do African right here, sort of like a bongo. Right, so you can make use of a lot right there from metronome. Go back again to multi-track metronome. Now you got sound type. Uh, let's use African two. Yep, and multi-track back again. Change sound type. Let's try to use. Uh... All right. So uh, let me let me just play everything to you. Probably um, you don't have Adobe Audition CS6 first, and you're kind of confused if you want want to get this or you want to use Vegas Pro. Uh, I mean, sorry. Uh, what's the other one? The Sony SoundForge probably. Uh, I'm not pretty familiar with other audio editing software because I guess I was born to use this. And uh, Tabla. Alright, so there are a lot in there, and also you could edit your own pattern right here. Go back to multi-track, go to metronome, go to edit pattern. It got upbeat, got subdivision, you got one, two, three, four right there. That's uh if you kill number two, then it is gonna be a blank for the interval. It's gonna be if you kill three and four, it's just left to one, alright? See that? It's just basically a blank. Remember, the count is always four slash four or four fourths, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna count that, oh, let me go back. All the ticks for the pattern, metronome, edit pattern. If you take all one, two, three, four first. One, two, three, four first. All right. So uh, that's that's how it's been subdivided. You just would want to experiment on this depending on the the focus or, or, or the need of your audio. So we don't want to use that, we just want to use sticks just for probably uh, counting for us. Let's go back for sticks and let's press home. Alright, so you got your four standard counts right there, continual counts. Then bring this back again, unmute that so somebody's four, talking. five, six. Right, so you want to align everything. So you just cut this, cut that part, if you don't know how to cut, if you don't know how to delete, go back right straight down on the list of the tutorials that we have for Adobe Audition CS6, then you would learn it from there. Just look up for the title of the video and then learn from there. Go back to multi-track. Everything has been cut and adjusted. Just try to match the count or the metronome count to the audio recording or to the audio base file that you're trying to match or trying to uh, align with a count together with the metronome one two something like that all right you can just readjust again let me just double click because it's I guess too far from one two three probably something like that it's just a test file so it wouldn't sound really good one two three Let's see let me go back one two three there you go so think so that's it's 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 a guitar riff think so that's it's a drum beat all right so a metronome would help you a lot in many ways, especially when you're trying to record or edit music in blended voice, blended a lot of instruments. Because you can do multi-tracks right here. Like oh, you could add in a lot of tracks in there. Alright, so again for some of the video tutorials, you can check out www.newtoboss.com. Again, my name is Ty. Do subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash Thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you back.